Hi, welcome to the Reclaiming channel and today the topic is what is a RAID. RAID, short for redundant array of independent disks, is the technology allowing to combine different disks into a single large storage. RAID array is characterized by three criteria. These criteria, speed, size and fault tolerance, form a so-called right triangle. These criteria are located in uh, vertices, while rights are located on the sides of this triangle. For example, you can get a right with high access speed and large uh, capacity. However, you definitely lose in full tolerance. There are two ways to create a read. With hardware, using a special write controller, or with software. Low-end hardware controllers use simple arrays, while software and high-end hardware arrays may be quite exotic. Anyway, you need minimum two disks to create a read. There are two ways to place data on the right. Non-block way and block way. In non-block arrays, uh, data is stored uh, sequentially as in a typical hard disk. A block uh, method of data placement is significantly different. In block arrays, uh, first data is sliced into blocks of a particular size, usually up to 1 MB, and only then is written to the array member disks according to the certain pattern. In the charts, disks are usually represented as columns. Disk 1, <coughs> disk 2 and disk 3. While data blocks are shown like this. Depending on the pattern you can get any two of speed, size and fault tolerance. Speed advantage is achieved due to the fact that a two disks can be read simultaneously if you need to adjust the data blocks. For example, block 1 and block 2 can be all read in one operation. When creating a read, be it a hardware or a software, right, uh, the uh, information about the pattern, also called uh, read metadata, is written to the read member disks either at the beginning before you use the data, or more often at the end. Now let's consider rate parameters. Non-block arrays do not have that many parameters. Uh, block arrays are characterized by the following set of parameters. The first parameter is block size. Block size can be from one sector and mostly up uh, to one megabyte. Uh, the block size is usually a power of two. The second parameter is start offset. Start offset is the distance at which rate data starts. Sometimes uh, this area can store write metadata. And the third parameter is disk order. First disk, second disk, third disk and so on. These three parameters are common to all block arrays. More complex arrays use additional parameters. These three parameters and pattern together Define any block rate. Generally, the more complex the rate, the more parameters it has. In the next video, I will discuss the rate types in more detail and talk over uh, the main approaches used in write recovery. Reclaiming team was with you. See you soon.